Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simple Terra. Sorry about the air, but it's hot up here, so I've got to have it on. Um, this is a, going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. Um, all of my readings are timeless. So we're going to use this deck and just see what we get. We're going to see what Spirit wants you to know. I feel like um, because I'm seeing the word destiny, something is destined, something is faded um, in your life or along your path. Priestess of Spirit, Grove, Reminder, Complicated, High Priestess of Fire, and Oath. Okay, I'm sorry about that. We got a fragment here. What that feels like to me is that there's something happening in your life that's got you looking at things and having to piece things together to figure out something. It's, it's almost like a feeling like um, things from the past, things, you know, from way back, and just trying to fit, piece everything together because it feels like your feelings are involved. Now, we have High Priestess of Spirit here. That's the number seven. So, that tells me that um, you, you, I feel like, honestly, you're, you're very in tune with um, God, with uh, the universe. And you need to just speak freely if you are not. Because I feel like that that's what's going to help to bring you peace. Also, the Grove being here... You know, that's a feeling of going where you feel peace. Going where you can figure things out. Going where you can defragment what is fragmented in your life. Uh, then we have, don't forget the reminder. Um, you know, don't forget what's happened in your life. You never forget what's happened in your life. But, you know... I don't like that word. Though, it's not the feeling of don't forget. Though, it's a, I'm also seeing a doorway. So, it's like when you, okay, say you close a door and then uh, you reopen it or such. You know, it's like you don't forget what's happened. It's kind of like um, if we forget the past of what's happened, it can repeat itself. So, you'll learn from the past. I hope that makes sense. Then we have complicated. Something is very complicated here. It could be a doorway um, that you are entered into. It's very complicated now. And you may, you know, be have have trouble seeing things for what they are. High Priestess of Fire is here because I feel like that there's some uh, there's some burning there's something about burning. It could be passion um, because I'm drawn to the the fire within this. The fire on his hand, the little bit right here, it looks like fire. And we have oath, you know, looking at what you take seriously what you um, so if you signed up for something if you you took an oath you know it's really trying to look at things from that that standpoint um, someone feels trapped Something has got them feeling trapped, and it's got to do with an oath. Honesty is needed. So someone needs to be totally honest about something. Whether this is you or someone you're dealing with, honesty is needed.
need him. You know, honesty is that's a a very big deal. And you know, sometimes it takes us. Oh my goodness, even with myself, you know, I've made my mistakes. And honesty, I see now is oh my goodness. If you don't have honesty, if you if you can't be honest. Um, you know, like about your feelings and stuff. What do you have? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have to look at ourselves and figure out, you know, for ourselves about ourselves, and that's how we we grow. Or that's with my own experience. We'll put it that way. Um, honesty here, I feel like, is about being honest. It's about telling the truth. It's about being honest with yourself as well as others. Now, that's coming down here at feeling trapped. So, there's something someone needs to be honest about. We've got lust here. Okay, that's coming in at our high priestess of fire. There's passion. This is fiery. This is a connection that is um, very passionate, very um, steamy, very hot. <laughs> we'll put it that way. That's, that's the way feels to me from that. Okay, let's take, um, okay, fragment. See, ending of a cycle. The world is the ending of a cycle, the beginning of a new one. So, you know, you end what was and you start from there. You see what I'm saying? Um, that's beautiful. Because it's just like learning from your own lessons, you know, finally seeing things, you know. That's that's a, the ending of a cycle and, and beginning a new one. High Priestess of Spirit. Okay. Justice. You see, the scales being balanced, the truth, you know, it, it's um, seeing things. It's Really having, I'm telling you, there's a connection to a higher power. There's a connection to God. It's, this is karma being fulfilled. It's, it's like it comes full circle, you know, and, and once you get to that point, you know, wish fulfillment. I mean, that's the grove. The grove. Okay, the grove. The grove, a feeling of peace. We've got the page of cups. That's offering some sort of emotion. We've got two of cups. So that's a union, um, or the or the desire of a union. The reminder, don't forget. Oh my goodness! Look, ten of pentacles. So money, money's been a factor. Um, stability's been a factor. Complicated, complicated. Whoa! They just throwed it. Completely over here. Okay, this makes sense. So we got the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is about sowing a seed. You sow a seed, you must nurture, you must care for that seed for it to grow and be healthy. Now, you can throw down a seed and it might grow, but that's not going to ensure that it is growing in a healthy way that is beneficial to you and to that person's relationship. So, this is telling me that as, you know, there's something that made something complicated because it was like nurturing wasn't there. It's that type of feeling. Or nurturing's not there, you see. And it ended. Something ended. You know, it's the death card. The death card's the ending of something. It feels like something ended. I priestess of fire. Queen of Swords reversed. Um, that's someone, you know, that really is very harsh. Someone that, um, you know, Queen of Swords is harsh, but the Queen of Swords reversed is someone that's even harsher. You know, they, they're wacky energy out. Wacky out. It's like, yeah. But with the Wheel of Fortune being on the bottom, fortune's changing. Luck's changing. Um, things are looking differently. So this may be someone that you've been dealing with and it's very complicated with that person. You know, it's like maybe um, someone, you know, money's something to do with money because pentacles are about money. 
or about, you know, abundance and such. Oath. Um, someone all in their head about, um, it feels like an oath or um, a marriage or a uh, relationship or such. Honesty. Okay, honesty. We've got the, <laughs> that's a reconciliation card. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a reconciliation, but it's the coming together. Um, you know, if, if you known someone, and this could be very well be um, soulmate, but you know, it's, it's the victory card next to it. So it's like honesty really can make something very happy, very victorious. Um, it's a very good feeling, actually. Lust, lust, lust. Soulmate, soulmate connection. This is a strong connection. They're drawn to each other. You know, soulmates, soulmates are drawn to one another. Trout. Could be a um, twin flame, actually. If so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Trout. Okay, we got King of Pentacles guarding their heart. Guarding themselves for your life, it feels like. Um, it's like, at some point in time, they felt left out, left behind, abandoned. Um, the hangman's here because it's a time, a period of reflection, a period of putting things in place with fragment. You know, putting them where they go. Temperance is here. This is divinely guided. This is divinely orchestrated. This is um, God has got a hand in this. This is a. Uh, it's like it's faded, a faded event. And I don't know why they're leading me over here to these, but they are for some reason. Okay. Not sure why, but I guess we'll see. Big cards. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Eight of Swords. You know, interference. Now I want to show you where's it at? I've seen it somewhere. Uh, where's it at? Right here. It's like those two cards kind of go together, if that makes sense. Um, interference. Something is being interfered with. Now, it's best to let things just flow because if you try to control things, that just doesn't work whenever the divine is involved. Yeah. See... Futility. I'm telling you, let this flow for success. Let this flow. Let it, you know, let it do its thing. Um, things move forward. Start moving forward quickly. It's guided. I'm telling you, it's guided. God is involved. God, this is destiny. God's got this. Wow. This is amazing. It truly is. And it feels like, you know, you've really been doing the work for yourself. You've been um, doing your inner work. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We've got codependency. So, addictions are affecting your romantic life. But then on the bottom, I'm drawn to it. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. So, you're going to have to take that however it is for you. Whatever it means for you. Well, that's what I've got. There. Okay. 
Um, I'm not feeling it extended on this one. Hmm. First one I haven't felt it extended on that was in the um, line that I was going to do. So yeah, it's this is like if you 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 have to figure things out for yourself. So it's basically figure things out for yourself, freeze yourself, basically. Um, it's not gonna be easy. It feels like because someone could get hurt. Soulmate is involved. That's why it feels so, um, this feels like a strong connection. Could be twin flame, um, possibly. And I would just, I would definitely pray about this, you know. But that's what I've got for you. If you like the content that I create, do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. And much light and love to you. I enjoy the comments. And until next time, bye.